Understanding Windows NTFS timestamps is essential in most investigations. In the following 120 seconds, I'll explain what timestamps exist and what they mean. Microsoft first introduced the NTFS or New Technology File System in July 1993 to eventually replace the less complex and less secure FAT file system. NTFS stores more timestamps and the resolution is way higher than it used to be in FAT. All the management information is stored in the so-called MFT, the Master File Table. It pretty much acts like a phone book containing metadata and address information for all files in the partition, but usually not the file data itself. Like always in forensics, there is an exception. When a file is really small, it might be stored directly in the MFT. That's called a resident data attribute, but now back to the MFT entries. Each entry contains a couple of attributes. For files that would at least be one standard information, one file name, and one data attribute. Each of the first two contains four timestamps called MACB in short. So let's focus on those for today. M stands for modified and indicates that the actual data of the file has been modified. A stands for accessed and does not get changed very much on any Windows OS newer than Windows XP. C stands for changed and indicates a change of the metadata, so attributes within the MFT entry for the files changed. Oftentimes C changes together with M, as changing the contents of a file might have impact on a data attribute, which resides in the MFT entry. Finally B stands for birth, which indicates the creation time of a file. This is for standard information. In the file name attribute, B gets replaced with R, which means read time. Even though the same timestamps exist in standard information and the file name attribute, Windows applies certain rules on when it touches a particular timestamp. SANS provides a nice table to depict those rules. Find the link in the description. This was just a short overview which timestamps NTFS provides. Keep in mind that there are way more artifacts in Windows that tell you more about the history of certain files, like for example shim cache and recently opened file links. But that's a topic for another episode of DFIR in 120 seconds.